Hello YouTubers, as you probably know by now, I'm in favor of war with China. This video details what's so dangerous about the Chinese government and why they are a threat to the world. First, this channel is not about warmongering or propaganda. However, my preference for peace does not blind me to the dangers that exist in the world. While war should be avoided most of the time, it should not be avoided at all costs. Sometimes threats emerge and have to be confronted for the peace and safety of not only ourselves, but nations around the world. These are the circumstances we find ourselves in with China. By many standards, we are already at war with China, a war which has already killed many lives. As with most other issues, China has been doing this in a bit underhanded manner, precisely because they want to avoid confrontation. But whether through sword, famine, or plague, death is death. In a sentence, China is trying to cause the collapse of American society. Regardless of their underhanded tactics, America not only has the right to defend itself against these threats, but a moral obligation to do so. So what have Chinese been doing that's so dastardly? While too exhaustive, I'll provide three solid reasons why we should pursue greater confrontation with China very likely leading to war. The biggest reason, as has been said several times on this channel, is that they are knowingly and intentionally trying to cause the collapse of the dollar. For them to continue down this course will make war unavoidable for, if that were to happen, America would fall literally overnight. Your money would be worthless. Our government would be unable to maintain safety and order. Either the world would enter a new dark age or China will become the world's superpower, curtailing liberty and making all subservient to the state. Communism would rule the world. Unless we either confront them or tank their economy, they will succeed. So let me ask you, do you honestly believe that America would allow the world to enter a new dark age or for China to become the world's superpower? Well, the only way that can be prevented is by tanking the Chinese economy or by going to war with the Chinese government. Haven't we done almost everything we can do to try and tank their economy? What else could be done to avoid war? Well, currently nations are considering a decoupling strategy, but will that be effective? While hopeful, as tanking their economy is far more preferable than war, I'm not convinced decoupling will be effective. It seems more likely that decoupling will polarize the nations even further into choosing China or America. Ultimately, decoupling will draw us closer to war rather than help prevent it. In addition to the threat that China poses to America and the dollar, human rights violations endured by Chinese citizens demonstrates how truly cruel and downright evil the ruling Chinese government is. Sure, America has its problems just as any other nation in the world is not without problems. No one and no government is perfect after all. But perfection is far from the standard we should be considering. Let's not conflate downright evil with falling short of perfection. While it would take too long to list all of the atrocities committed by the Chinese government, allow me to speak on what many would view as their most egregious violation, namely their attack on religion. As you probably heard in the news, China has displaced and imprisoned millions of people, essentially turning the whole Xinjiang province into a gigantic prison. Now, some make the same case about Gaza. True enough, and we should address that. That's a topic for another video, but we should be just as opposed to the mistreatment of Palestinians as the mistreatment of the Uyghurs. I'm mentioning the mistreatment of the Palestinians in this video so that you understand I'm not being hypocritical. In an issue most personal to me, speaking as a Christian, the Chinese government has imprisoned countless thousands of Christian pastors and leaders for refusing to accept the state-sanctioned and approved version of Christianity, even shutting down their churches. In so doing, the Chinese government is repressing the faith of millions and millions of its own citizens. Even worse, Chinese government is working on rewriting the Bible so that it conforms more with the government. This move alone should inflame Christians around the world against China. However, 
it should be pointed out that this is not and should not be a war of religion. Rather, it should be a war to protect the liberty of those who already have faith. But make no mistake, we should put the fear of God into the atheist, God-hating Chinese government. Moreover, the Chinese government is not only a threat to America, but also to nations in its own region and nations around the world. For example, China is claiming land that it doesn't own and building up bases in the South China Sea. Do you think that the Philippines wants Chinese military bases right next to it? What about Indonesia and Malaysia? Would there be conflict in the South China Sea if not for China claiming land that is not China's to claim? The nations surrounding the South China Sea know very well the threat that China poses. Lastly, allow me to state the incredibly obvious fact that they're responsible for releasing a new strain of coronavirus causing a global pandemic. While the coronavirus is causing most of the hatred against China currently, keep in mind that it's perhaps the least of the threats in the long term. If we desire to do good in the world, perhaps the best thing to do is put an end to the current Chinese government. Whether religious or atheist, ask all to consider the peace and relative safety that will come as a result of the defeat of the Chinese government. That's all the time I have for today. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing. Thanks for your time.